team is going to talk about the development of polio vaccine and it all begins in 1894 in the Outer Valley in Vermont, where Dr. Charles Caverly notices a strange convergence in the symptoms of a number of stricken residents, such as headache, fever, fatigue, inflexible neck, and feelings of nausea. The first USA's recorder polio epidemic follow a template from which future outbreaks will rarely deviate. The virus struck during the summer months and most of the patients were male and children and were especially susceptible. The problem escalated. In 1907, saw more than 2,000 cases in New York City alone. Moreover, unlike other epidemics, this was an illness that appeared to strike harder at middle class districts than the overcrowd that filled these slums in which the poor were contained. By the 1930s, Holly received significant attention from the press and the medical community. In 1938, with the backing of President Franklin D. Roosevelt, who was famously diagnosticated with polio in 1921, with the age of 39, the National Foundation for Infantile Paralysis was founded. Within that foundation, a first competition to find the cure emergency between three men, Albert Sabin, Jonas Salk, and Hilary Koporski. Hello everyone, my name is Hilary Koporski and I was an immunologist and virologist, inventor of the first effective polyp vaccine, for which I used oral administration of a Tinut polyvirus. I was born in December 5, 1916 and in Warsaw, Poland and I passed away in April 11, 2013 uh, in Winewood, Pennsylvania, United States. I had a great role in the development of the polio vaccine. Hi, I'm Jonas Edward Salk, an American medical researcher and virologist, mainly recognized for my contribution to the polio vaccine. I was born in New York City from a family of Russian Jewish immigrants. On October 28, 1914, in New York, United States, I invented a vaccine against all three types of polio virus, but it had the drawback that it was intramuscular. Subsequently, Seven developed an oral vaccine that was administered to children in a sugar cube, which began to be used in 1957. I died on June 23, 1995 in La Jolla, California.